No problem. Got it. No problem. Got it. Greetings to you. Something I can get for you? Kindly direct your inquiries to me. Matin is merely an indebted employee. His opinions don't amount to much. So, new spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please, look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Just be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fatworm on a hut's backside. First off, Hearts are all backside. Secondly, I don't much like the comparison. No need to get personal. It's just business. Poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, but you don't need to hear this. What can I get you? Of course. You're in a hurry. <laughs> Yeah, what do you want? You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Kandorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. The Sith came to us with an offer. To fight a worthy enemy in a battle that would be remembered forever. Win or lose, as long as the fight is worthy and honor is gained. The glory at having triumph over impossible odds is what drives us. If there's nothing at stake, your possessions, your life, your world, then the battle's meaningless. We Mandalore take everything we are and throw it into battle. It's the true test of yourself. The battle against death. Against oblivion. All life dies eventually. A true warrior is one who can beat it down whenever it raises its head. But times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were are a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. <laughs> Yeah. 
Sinan Hjelva. Hvorfor skal Hjelva opstake en pris? Se og fåre for vi kunne tuske af Vangevog Hjelva. Og i Sinan Hjelva var Nino Vang Hjelva Kora. Kunne tuske af Vangevog Hjelva. Og i Sinan Hjelva. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in Wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Wookie hunters usually keep numbers down, but I think they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. I won't stop you, but you leave this area at your own risk. We're here to protect the company, not you. things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down.
careful now. That growl sounded pretty threatening. Keep your slave on its leash or we'll have another accident. Just shut up, you trigger-happy idiot. Of course they don't. Why would you ask me that? You're doing some sort of snap inspection? You're trying to get me to admit to incompetence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. We'll find another easy enough. Is that a joke? Who do you think you are? I... Uh, I think I should pull in some favors and get us moved off-world, men. Uh, are you... All right, Captain. Are you questioning my orders? You don't want to do that. If... if you say so, Captain. Yes, I say so. Move out. This place just isn't worth the trouble. What? Yes? Thank <laughs> you. 
Huh? Yes? Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you.
I suppose we have little choice. We should proceed with caution, however. Oh, oh. 